Hello and welcome back to another Talk Dragon Tuesday with RPW. I'm pretty excited because today is a special edition where we're going to go over 12 changes I'd like to see happen in War Dragons. Now even more exciting is I have some fantastic news, which is every week we're going to start having a giveaway right here on my channel. So be sure you tune in so you know how you can win this week's $20 in-game pack. Now I also have a pretty cool video coming up later this week where we will celebrate Mother's Day, so be sure not to miss that. Now if you don't know, this Wednesday will be the breeding event. Talk about mommies. All your dragon mommies are going to get to have a bunch of babies. Anyways, back to the reality. The breeding event will be this week. Now a few quick tips that you might need for the breeding event, especially if you're new level, is if you notice, for example, you have nothing to breed, there could be a few issues you're having. One, your castle may not be upgraded enough, or two, you've missed a few dragons that you should have gotten to breedable. So make sure you check the back of your roster or go into your, your den and see if everything is already breedable. And last but not least, if for some reason your castle is upgrading, that doesn't mean you can't partake. Just go into the breeding event section and there will be a way to bypass that building. Now let's go over the 12 changes I would like to see happen within War Dragons. Now these are all of course suggestions. These are not something that has been promised or that has even been discussed with War Dragons. Now the first thing is actually been suggested by one of the teammates on my team, which is she would really like to see an option between a male and female portrait according to your in-game achievements. For example, with Celia, how you can win a thousand bot battles, she feels that, you know, what if we could have a male and female option? Because a lot of times, a lot of females kind of feel left out when it comes to these versus sometimes males. I mean, I guess it depends on what you're looking at. So that would be a pretty cool, really neat little feature to add into this game. But again, this is not something we've discussed with War Dragons. And this might be a little bit much, but it really would be cool, wouldn't it? So that's one thing, and I really appreciate her putting that in to kick off the rest of my 11. So the rest of my ideas here are something that I think really could make the game better. For example, a ruby warning. One time I was playing during the fortification and I had an appointment, but at the same time I'm trying to get this thing done because I didn't want to waste the lumber coming in and they asked me a question, I got distracted, clicked yes and then I realized after I looked down and I had pretty much all my rubies gone that it wasn't asking me if I was sure if I wanted to spend the 12 hour speed ups but the rubies. I think if there was a big red ruby that was warning you of this, I think it'd be easily noticeable as to whether it's asking you if you want to spend rubies or if you're wanting to spend your 12 hour speed ups. So I think this would be a really cool feature just to prevent those kinds of mistakes in the future. Now, that was pretty neat, but what about this one? I had this really cool idea that we could add a player bio to our profiles. So literally you would go in, click the player bio, and it would actually bring up a box where you can put in some information for other people to read. Here's just a few examples. So this player could say, I play every day, I never miss a war, and I do fairly well in events, but I do not want to go above platinum. This way, whenever teams are searching through, they can decide, okay, well, I'm a Sapphire team, so she's not going to want to join me. Or, oh wow, she never misses a war, she'd be great for us. Or on the contrary, somebody that's just trying to relax and enjoy their game and really isn't looking for a team right now. This way you don't just go out there blindly inviting people that don't have a team to a team that they're never going to join. So this is a really cool tool, I think. You could even add in things like what your time zone is or what times you generally play. Now, another really cool idea I came up with was having an option to add the entire team to your team chat. So for example, when you put your name in for add members, with our team, I could put Royal Guardians, the plus sign, and it would add the entire team. And they could even limit this to the actual leadership on the team. Now, let's go on into my next idea, which is a double tap for swap. I would like to see this where when we click swap, it turns red and you click again and it actually swaps. And it could be very, very quick. So again, tap, tap, and you would actually swap. 
I think this would prevent a lot of issues where we accidentally swap when we don't mean to. Now, on my team, I love to send out messages and I'm sure you do too. So I think it'd be a really cool option to have a reply or reply all button because a lot of times people don't realize that this is a mass message, even if you put it in there in caps, yes. I have still had replies. And if you have another low level player on the team, this can cause confusion because they think you're talking to them even though you're replying to the original message. So I think this would truly help out a lot. I don't know how many times I'm getting prepared and getting all excited for the next PVP, but I have no idea how many energy packs I have. Or the breeding event is coming and well, I have nothing that's been started in the breeding castle and something is incubating, but I can't see how many fragments I've got. Now a really cool and easy fix for this would be to add another element to the main island. For example, you could add a chest or a satchel or a wagon. And when you click on this, I think it'd be really cool if you could open it up and there'd be a set of tabs you can scroll through. So let's say the first tab is all about your dragons and breeding. So maybe it can show how many tokens you have and how many mystic fragments and so forth. And then in the next tab, this could be, for example, for your building supplies. There could be things like how many um, fire, fire shards you have, ice shards, pearls, elemental embers, and so forth. The next tab could be event-related stuff like your um, energy packs and your inner fires and things of that nature. You could even have another one that has things within it like you know, how many of each type of egg you have that you can utilize for your research or for your upgrades on the um, builder set. So I think this would be a really great tool for us. I know a lot of us who have issues trying to prepare for future events. Now, I really think that most teams would benefit from this idea, which is a team news tab. And this would be a fourth tab within your chat room that only the leadership can post to but the entire team can view. So if you're just a member, you can go in and you can kind of look at it, but you can't type in it. And the reason for this is so that news can go out and can be easily found by the team without having to scroll up or getting lost by the maximum amount of messages that can be held in a window. And I really think that this could be a very useful tool when it comes to event planning, war planning, or even just things coming up for the week. So if it was me, this would be the one of the things that I put out that I would be like, please, PG, I really want this idea. This next thing isn't necessarily an issue within the game, but it does probably cause problems for more than just myself in an annoyance kind of way. So this little arrow back, which I've replaced here with an X, I think would be a much better option because a lot of times I click that and I'm thinking I'm going back to another dragon not necessarily exiting the den and this will get me every single time so i would really like to see an x in place of this arrow i don't know if everybody else has issues with this if this is common if it is don't forget to put that in the comment section below because i am curious how many people have this issue all those war hungry teams out there are going to love this cool idea that i thought of recently which is a war assigning tab within the war itself. So I think it'd be really cool if on the right side of every one of the attacks, there is a little area where you can click to edit and this is where you can actually choose the target or the team that, or the player that will be attacking that target so that you can actually assign each member on your team a specific target. Now, I'm not saying that this would mean that they could only attack that one thing, there should be a little bit of freedom to go ahead and do what they want. However, it should be one of those things though, when they come in, it should be clearly shown on here that there is a target for them. So each person would be able to see what their target was. I really think this could make a lot of wars so much easier, especially on the leadership. Now I've saved the best for last. This is my specific favorite idea that I've come up with, which is a test run. Now, I think it would be really cool to have the option to run your own dragon on your own base. Look at that, I put face, but 
will keep on pushing. Okay, so I think it'd be really cool to put your own dragon on your own base. So this way you can not only practice with your dragons, but you can kind of test out your base at the same time as you're building. Now, if you do this, like if they make this option an option, you would not be able to gain XP, you wouldn't be able to gain any kind of resources or metals or anything of that nature, but nor should you have to heal your dragon. So this would literally be like a zero zero kind of thing. So you go in, attack your base, and you can kind of get an idea of, okay, so this is my base's weakness with this dragon, and then its weakness with this other dragon, and so forth. And at the same time, give you the chance to kind of play with your dragons a little bit and kind of get to know their spells before you actually go out there and utilize them on other people's bases. And I think this could really help out with the farming issue out there where people think they're being farmed because people are practicing their dragons on their bases. So I really think this would be a really cool feature for war dragons to add within the training den. This way it's actually a training den. All right, guys, so let's go over how you can win this week's $20 in-game pack. So the first thing you need to do is go down to the comment section below the video and put your in-game name, followed with your favorite idea from today's video. And tell me why you think it would be a great thing to have in the game and why you think it would not only help you, but your team as well. Once you've done this, you have successfully entered into this week's contest. And don't forget afterwards to share this with fellow players on your team so that they can enter too. Besides that, getting attention to these ideas just might make a change. You never know. Now this contest will be open for comments for 48 hours after posting, so be sure you get them in as quickly as possible. After 48 hours is up, I will choose my top five answers, so be sure that you get creative with yours. Once I've chosen the top five answers in the comments section, I will throw all five comments names into a hat, and then we will randomly choose the winner from those top five. There is a limit to one entry per in-game name, so be sure your one answer counts and is a good one. But I do wanna let you also know that number one, this prize is not provided by me personally, but it is provided and distributed by War Dragons. I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. Now, remember, check back later this week so you can find out who won this game. It will be mentioned in one of my future videos this week. All right, guys, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then if you hit that little bell, you can sign up for notifications every time a new video is posted. Happy hunting!